thank you. Local police leaders tell the ABC 15 investigators they want to see action after an audit uncovered more problems for Arizona's public safety pension plan. That audit comes less than a month after we expose billions of dollars in losses that you, the taxpayer, will have to cover. Investigator Dave Biscabine has reaction from the rank and file. It was, it was a great job. Andy Swan spent 20 years as a DPS officer. He depends on his pension to support his family. I have a wife and three children. Earlier this year, Swan says he cringed every time Arizona politicians blamed police officers and firefighters for draining the public safety pension fund. Now, he feels the truth is starting to come out. No, it's not fair. And the report from the Auditor's General, Auditor General's office I think vindicates us. Too. State auditors just released this report. Inside, they criticized the fund for years of risky investments, having a portfolio they call volatile and racking up millions of dollars in questionable legal fees. The audit follows an ABC 15 investigation that revealed the fund lost $1.6 billion in just two years and that only one person, former fund manager Jack Cross, made all of the investment decisions. You get a couple minutes of your time? No. Taxpayers will now have to bail out the fund for the next three decades. That's problematic, and I hope it's problematic for the legislators and the citizens. Brian Livingston represents police officers across Arizona. Do you think there's mismanagement? Absolutely. Do you think there's something criminal? I think it's possible. Livingston and other police union officials across the state are deciding if they should take this to federal investigators. But officers like Andy Swan just want to make sure their retirement is safe. That policies are being changed and controls are being put in place so that these kinds of things won't happen in the future. I'm investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15 News.